All right, hi guys, I'm here back with all the food games and welcome to, as you've seen the title, the Cadbury M-U-K-B-A-N-G. Now, I know Easter's uh, just been two days. I apologize for the delay. That is because it has been one of my most difficult challenges to order in Cadbury items all the way from the US. So, I'll, as always, I upload pictures on my Instagram if you want a more cleaner picture of them. I have got the original cream egg. From Cadbury. Of course, these are all US versions. Uh, the thing is, um, well, the I know the the foil, the paper that the Cadbury eggs are wrapped in in the UK are purple, red, and yellow. This one's red, yellow, blue, and green. Yeah, I'll just crack one over so you take a little look. I've got the dairy milk. Of course, in the US, they call their version the World Up. The Cadbury Limited Edition Halloween egg, they call it the Scream Egg. Mini Snowballs. I know it's Easter, but it's still fun to include them anyway. And right here, the caramel. Of course, wraps up in a. Are the UK ones. Yeah, the UK ones are a bit goldish kind of paper. Anyway, as always, I'm going to try these items one by one, see which one's the best, and then pick a winner at the end that I recommend to you guys. And I've brought this plate with me to... Oh. One thing I never liked about Capri eggs, I'm not... Like, I like the Capri Caramello, as you guys know. I like the chocolate cream egg that I tried not too long ago. Last year. Thing is, with these Capri eggs, they're always so damn freaking solid, so I brought a kitchen knife with me to divide some of them apart. So I think start with the original one first, and then move on to the flavor. As soon as I crack these things. I like the fact that they're in these little egg trays. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Maybe paper's a bit sticky. Oh yeah, also for Easter, I got this new t-shirt right here, this Converse Golf Le Fleur t-shirt that I got at a, I didn't get it from anywhere, so I'm not gonna highlight anywhere in this video. Um, I just got it from a street market that was selling urban fashion. Of course, and you know what I mean by urban fashion. The Superstars, Chucks, Air Force Ones, whatever you like. Oh, I found this t-shirt there. Yeah. I don't want to wear something brightly coloured for the occasion, of course. I don't, unfortunately. Uh, um, the Nike Air Force One Easter egg has uh, kind of gone up in value. So if I ever do buy that, if I ever make another Easter video in future, I'll try my best to include Nike Air Force One Easter egg edition. Of course, you know, tradition-wise. Anyway, try this out. Hmm. Now a lot softer and smoother, like a truffle, like a lint truffle. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a lint truffle. It's a lot softer and smooth compared to the UK one. That's a pretty good start. Mmm. Alright. Caramel one. This one's really gooey. If it gets stuck in your teeth easy. Another thing I don't like about Cadbury eggs. But yeah, it's incredible how smooth and soft these chocolates are, like truffles, they melt in, the, they melt in your mouth. Well, of course it's caramel, but this one gets real stuck in your TV zoo. The presentation nice wise, like how they're wrapped up, is very fancy, but Yeah, the teeth thingy, yeah. 
I still like the fact still that it's super soft, super smooth, like a lint. It's like a lint drawer, it's that smooth. And I didn't have to bite down on it. I didn't have to bite down it like, ah. It's just very, very smooth. Melts in your mouth. Mm. Okay, now, snowballs. Now, uh, there we go. Oh, they've got three colors. They've got green, got red, they got, well, they've got white ones, but not many of them are. Yeah, that one's, I don't want any else there. Unless they got a bit damaged um, getting them shipped here from the, from the US. No. The shell is nice. Um, a little bit crispier than the Cadbury egg I've had in the Cadbury mini eggs I've had in the UK. It's like a bit paste. Um, it's like snow coated kind of thingy they got going on here. These snow coated. I like the fact that these are snow coated. It makes it a bit more softer, a bit smoother compared to the mini eggs. Well, I'm pretty sure some of them have got like soft coating, some of the mini eggs in the US. They do have other variations of Cadbury mini eggs in the US that will have like a, a, a softer shell. This one's a very soft uh, snow shell in this case, obviously Christmas edition, but fun. They're not that like different compared to mini egg, but still fun. I'll give them that. Now, the Halloween, I know it's not Halloween, I know it's not Christmas, I know it's Easter, but gotta go with the addition. Hey, I even wore a brightly colored shirt for the occasion. Now with this bigger one here, I'm gonna Here's the thing guys, I actually bought a bread knife, like just to cut this thing open. Look, so here's a bread knife there. Let me just put this paper to the side. It's like that silver paper for Five Guys sandwiches. There we go, put it open. And it is green on the inside. The paper is purple and green, and inside, the logo is in green, and inside is actually green. We've well, still got a bit of the white frosting in there. Still a bit, but it's green and white gooey in there, so. Best of both, I guess. You know what, this is what it tastes like. It's like during your childhood with Halloween, when you buy a Halloween, like, candy bar or something, or a, a Halloween dessert, and it's always got that green gooey thing in the middle. Like, I know it's a little popular in Halloween snacks to be green, like the Halloween Reese's Franken Cup. It's a green, it's just a green Reese's Cup. This green kind of thing works good with this one, actually. Hmm. Mm. But... I don't know if I'd recommend it to you guys if this one's better than the original. If you still want to keep it original, go original. If you want to be more adventurous, I say go with this green one. Hmm.
I hate this thing, like, it's always so difficult. To, like, I'm telling you, like, the foiling, the way they wrap these things up with these cabri bars, it's too damn solid. Same thing just to crack into one of those large, like, these ones are super soft. I, I didn't even have to, like, these ones melt in your mouth, but the big cabri eggs. Ugh. I had to bring a bread knife towards this, man, because... The reason I chose a bread knife rather than just like a, a, a other kitchen knife that you use to chop fruit and veggies because these sharp bits here, because it's longer, obviously, saw it down like a piece of wood. Yeah. Now this one's... Now, it's not shaped in like the rectangle bits. It's like little squares. Just little squares they divide them to. And of course, Hershey and Cadbury in the US. It's not hard to chew. It melts in your mouth. It's soft. And smooth still. That's what I noticed about these Cadbury items in the US compared to the UK ones. They're a lot softer and smoother. I've had the UK one and it's not really much of a difference. Apart from it being softer and smoother, it's not much of a difference, so... Mm. Now, just to finish off before I decide a winner. So about that guy's just got an email. Check out like. Real dark, of course, darker. That's pretty damn dark. It's like, mmm. I've seen dark chocolate. This is pretty dark, like almost. Like almost like a. Almost like pitch black. Mmm. And it's still divided into little squares. Not bad. Bad. Um, compared to Cadbury dark chocolate in the UK, still softer and smoother than the UK one. Is it better or not that they divide them into these little squares compared to the rectangles? Mm. It's sticky. This roll, you know what, to be honest, this is actually pretty strong. Like, I know I've always told you guys got strong taste buds, but for a Cadbury bar, this dark chocolate is actually pretty damn strong. Not too damn strong, it's got. The, the kick to it is a little bit more powerful than I thought. Okay. Now I've got to pick a winner. Now. Snowballs are kind of boring, so that's not going to be for winner to for today. Uh, the original Cadbury eggs, nothing new to me, boring. The original Cadbury bar, not that much of a difference to be honest with you guys. Almost identical. The US cabin bar and the UK one, this US one's just a bit softer and smoother and they divide them into little squares instead of rectangle shape. I mean, I know the bar is rectangle, but 
they divide them into little squares, like, just like there. I mean, it's a square there, it's not a rectangle, it's a square there, so they ain't joking. Alright. I'm trying to decide which one's the winner between the Halloween Scream Egg or the Cadbury Caramel Egg. The winner is, I'm going to give it to the Cadbury Scream Egg. I know it's Halloween, I know it's Easter, but go, go, go with eggs. Yeah, that one's won me over today, guys, because that caramel is too damn gooey. And if it gets caught in my teeth and all that, and I forgot to floss for ages, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, not really my thing. I've been, you know what, actually, all right. I know this one's not in a box, but I've been using this egg carton just to like collect them all up. So I've got a bunch of them right here. One there, one there. Quite a few. I know it's just a Sainsbury's carton egg, but it still helps. Still this job done. Just show you guys, so I don't have to show you, show you some messy paper. Just grab one out. So there you have it guys, the winner for this video, the uh, Cadbury Scream Egg Halloween Edition, all the way from the USA. That is the winner for the video, for this Easter video. But as always, if you guys disagree, and if you know a better Cadbury item in the US, do comment down below or text me on social media, I'll leave my... I'd say not just in the US, but anywhere around the world, a better Cadbury item. Anywhere around the world, because I know Cadbury are big on Easter. Do comment down below if you know a better Cadbury item in the world. All the text on social media, I'll leave my usernames down below in the description box. If you want to see a sequel alternative video, give it a like to demand. I will try to do an Easter one next year, whether it'll be Cadbury items from the UK, the US. I heard they got some good ones in Canada. Of course, they got good ones in New Zealand and Australia. Anywhere around the world, I'll try and... I heard they got some good ones in India and in all these countries around the world. Cadbury have got some terrific items. Very popular items as far as I know. So, see you all to the video, you know, you've got to give it a like as demand. Feel free to share with your pals if they don't want to miss out, if they love Cadbury as well, if they love Cadbury. I'm not that big a fan of Cadbury as you know, it's just, it was just never really my thing. But until I came across stuff like the Caramel or the Shop Korean, you know, I started getting into it a bit and I brought it to the table today for this video. Feel free to share with your pals as well, so if they don't want to miss out, if they like Cadbury. Oh yeah, I mean, they fanatics and they love it. But if you guys want to stay up to date with all, then you can hit subscribe. The notification bell, or follow me, or the rest of my team on social media. Their usernames in the more busy videos are the ones they at least take part in. If I've got any more Easter snacks before the summer begins, yeah, I'll definitely try and bring along at least one of them for the fun of it. Oh no, guys. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon. Peace out. And happy Easter.